Right guys, welcome back. We are continuing our world tour. And this time, we're back in London. Now, this is an awesome bridge and no one has suggested it to me. I've I kind of waited, I guess, to see if anyone would suggest it, but no one has. And it's a really cool bridge, so I just wanted to show it to you guys because it deserves some recognition. <laughs> All right, so to start off, we're gonna move this over here with our anchor point. Okay, so this bridge is absolutely incredible. So basically it creates an octagon and then it unrolls to get across the span. So that's gonna count as one piece. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's where our final span is. I'll tell you what, actually. Just make this a little bit easier to see. We're gonna do the old terrain. So we're gonna need a couple of hydraulic phases. We may as well while we're here bung a boat in there. Let's do... No, let's not do a speedboat. That makes no sense. Let's do a pirate ship. Flip. Oh wow, I didn't know you could do that. Cool. So now our little man will go. The hydraulics will do its thing. Hang on, I should probably move that out of the way a bit. Uh. The boat will come, hydraulics go back down. Okay, okay, we're looking good. I think everything's set up. I just need to work out how the hell to build this now. So first things first, they need to be joints. This one's fine. The mechanism for this, so obviously we got an octagon that we need to end up at. So the angles between each one needs to be 45 degrees. You just work that out by doing 360 degrees divided by eight, the eight sides. So the angle there needs to be 45 so i'm only gonna work on the first piece just to try and see how it all works and now if i'm gonna follow the actual design it's not actually a truss like that but it might be easier right so i'm gonna do my hydraulics first just to test this okay so that was way too high so all right so i need that to expand so the trouble is expanding might not be enough no, it's not going to be enough. Hence, that's why the actual bridge isn't a truss. It's actually a, like, trapeze type thing. Trapeze? Trapezium? I don't know. Right, there we go. We're making progress. That was way too high. If I make that a joint and that a joint, and I keep them all the same, they might then lock together if we get this right. There we go. Okay, so mechanism works, I think. Assuming I've done this middle right, it might not be right at all. However, I'm just going to quickly change the level. Because I don't like Steamtown, I'm going to go back to Pine Mountains, I think. That's much easier to see. And that looks almost like 45 degrees, if not exactly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to select all of that. I'm just going to copy this all the way across. Right, and then I'm just gonna double check everything is right. All these joints. I just need to make sure they're all the same so nothing disconnects. Right, so this could work. Bollocks. Right, so stuff is breaking. I'm gonna attempt to do that. This might not have the strength. <sighs> okay, so what I might have to do... Oh, I don't know actually. It's gonna be tricky. I could cheat quickly just to get it working all right let's just turn unbreakable on just to see if that makes a difference yes whoa okay that's <laughs> that's uh not as accurate as i wanted it to be <laughs> all right so we're we're kind of there <laughs> It's just a very angry Pac-Man. Right, so I need to work out then how I can slow. Don't know if you can change the hydraulic speed. I'm going to try and just build way over here. Just out the way. And this might be like a little hack cheat thing. It's gonna do a really long one of them. And that might give everything time while that's contracting. It might give these a time to lock in. Because that's what I've learned recently from the commenters. Thank you if you let me know this. The pins only lock in while a hydraulic phase is in progress. <laughs> uh, 
Clock, clock, clock. Clock. Ah. So yeah, these won't lock in now, because the hydraulic phase is done. Okay, I'm gonna have to think of a way to kind of control this a bit more. I'll tell you what I could do. It might take a while, but I could. I could do this in phases. So I could say, you go, then you go, then you go. Let's try that. Okay, so now I've got eight hydraulic phases. So on my first phase, I want a removal. I just want, I just want those to work. And then on this one, I only want that one. <laughs> Does anyone know, else notice the shape that I've just highlighted in yellow? No, just me. <laughs> just my brain, oh dear. Okay, so this might work. We've now got everything working in phases. So you... That didn't click in, that one. Okay, as it goes round, I think it will just gain the weight it needs to click. Shit, that one hasn't... Oh, there you go. Looks like I missed one. <laughs> uh, okay, so if I just pause that, you can see we haven't got the 45 degree angle right, which is very annoying. So what we need to do, we need to make the small... I probably should have just worked out how long it needs to be, depending on how tall it is. That would make a lot of sense. I might just do that quickly, if I'm honest. All right, give me a second. Let me just see how accurate this grid is before I do too many calcs. There's 0.25, so I'd rather stay in the grid. So we'll see if I can do it that way first. Okay, so I've done some calcs, and if I, yeah, so if I have it as high as it is, 1.5, then each of these horizontal pieces, which will end up as the internal octagon, they need to be about 0 0.75 meters, which, which is almost three, which is really annoying because <laughs> that's not how the grid works. However, I can probably just draw a 0.75. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this by eye. Bloody grid. I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw... <laughs> this is stupid, but I'm gonna draw some stuff above just to help know where I need to put stuff. So I've basically drawn a grid just to guide me. All right, so now I can turn off the grid and basically this node needs to line up with this node. I think that's lined up. And then this one needs to go middle of that one. Okay, so that could be better. I will then obviously need to redo all this crap again, annoyingly. And I'll probably have to fiddle with this to get it to work. But as before, I'm just going to try and get the first one right. Actually, I might work out exactly what length that has to extend by. G give me another second. Ah, <laughs> oh, that ended up being a much easier calculation than I was expecting. Obviously, to get these two pieces to go vertically, this just needs to extend by the length of them. So if I just do that, that tells me it's 0 0.75. So surely that needs to go 0 0.75. We'll try that and see what happens. Oops. Hmm. Oh no, it's more than that because you've got to get round. Okay, well annoyingly, that's just proved to me that our truss is too big. That's annoying. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna have to work it out again, but for... Oh no, actually I did that wrong. That's not the distance I wanted, is it? That's 0 0.5. I need to be halfway between those. Oh, <laughs> idiot. Sorry guys, that was me being dumb. Okay, so basically I need to turn the grid off and move these so they're exactly halfway between. I thought something was up then. All right, is this any better? Ooh, that's close. Very, very close, which is surprising because what was that distance? 0.87? Hang on one second. All right, so that should be 0.67. So I could just have a little go at trying to make it a little bit bigger. Yes, yeah, so this one should be 0.76 I had. So 77 ain't too bad. So that's still not quite far enough. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to, I'm not going to use the grid, I'm just going to lift it up. 0.77, I think, I think, <laughs> that might be better. Okay, so I locked in. Great. All right, let's just do this all the way across. All right, so we'll do this hydraulic controller again. So that one. Okay, so now we've mapped this. We've engineered 
We've worked out the actual distances. I've got them as close as I can in this game. It's not the most accurate game for exact lengths. Let's see if it works. Oh, there's one. There's two. It's looking good, actually. Okay, this could be very good. Oh my god, come on. Oh, we did it, I think. Okay, so in this controller, let's just... Not in the controller, in this. Let's make him go first. Then all that jazz happen. K could be the killer when we try and undo. And also another thing, I'm just going to make that a joint. Just so that when it wraps around, it's all linked together. Alright, so Mr. Man is going across. He gets to his checkpoint. And then the hydraulics work, hopefully. Yes. So we just saw this. Let's quickly click through these. Awesome. That's so good. And then the boat comes. Look at that. Oh, I got the biggest grin on my face. I didn't think this would work, if I'm honest. <laughs> and then bollocks. I reckon then to fix it, we're just going to have to do that in reverse order. Let's just try for now and just see if that first one works. Right, so the boat's just gone past. Let's just see if this first one... No, obviously, you idiot, Matt. It's not that side. It's that side. Okay, I think that makes more sense. Let's just... I'm just going to double check before I get too far. Oh, it doesn't push it back for whatever reason. All right, I'm just going to take a test. A test piece. Alright, so we see this goes up. Fine. But it doesn't unlock. Alright, so what I'm thinking, this might be cheating, it might not be. I'm going to add a little bit of weight just to here. And hopefully that will just get it to fall back this way rather than tipping over as the way it was. Alright, so if this starts unrolling the right way, which it didn't. Then I don't know. <laughs> Alright, that's a hell of a weight now. That's a proper ball bag. That's gross. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have to think of a clever way to do this. Which I don't really want to do. Damn it! The double ball bag. Okay, the, it's not the ball bag then. It's, it's the order. What I'm thinking is maybe I need these to not extend so far. Okay, so the, the unfolding of this is a bit complicated. <laughs> what can I do to remedy this? Oh, this is really, really a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Okay, after hours of being a freaking idiot, I've worked out what I need to do. So if you look at this, basically you've got to have these two pointing down. So when we're expanded, there's still a triangle shape and that allows it to come back down. So the internals of this aren't quite an octagon. It'll be a bit jaggedy, but that's actually what it looks like in real life as well. Makes sense. So I should probably, I think as well, I'm going to have to make all of these a bit smaller. Annoyingly. So what we'll do, we'll go down one. We'll just see roughly how that works. That's a lot better, but it's not quite 45 degrees as you can see. So we're going to have to just fiddle with these until they're in the right place. Whoa. Okay, these are quite sensitive. <laughs> Trouble is I'm moving this by pixels and it might not be accurate enough. Oh, that's pretty good though. Right, so phase one. Well, let's just see. Fuck it. Let's see if it can hold everything on phase one. All right, so it's a bit messy this way compared to the other solution because of the weight. It's got nothing to really uh, support itself, but it might be able to unfold, which would be cool. Can you unfold? No. Okay, let's copy this. 
It might make a difference. Just, I'm just thinking it might make it a bit more stable. Let's see if this is any better. Clink. Oh no. Why aren't they clicking? And they look so close. Oh, I'm an idiot. Idiot. They need to be a joint. <laughs> oh, I've been playing this so long and going batshit with it. Right, here we go then. Click. 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 This is looking good. Not a perfect octagon by any means. Oh my god, that was working. That was actually working. Alright, so I'm just doing that one and those two every time. Come on, please do this. Please, 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 please. This has literally been hours now. So we roll up. Perfect. A perfect octagon. That's completely symmetrical about the middle. <laughs> right, we undo. Yes. Oh, I didn't quite click in. No. <laughs> okay, maybe that last phase then. We just have to be a bit more gentle. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna... I'm going to fold this one back up. So it's gonna kind of fold... It's gonna kind of unfold and then fold itself back up. Just to try and slow down the wobble. And I'll slow down the speed as we unravel. Okay. So this is how it's working. We're unraveling like that. Upright. And then as this one comes undone, things... Oh, yes! 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 Right, so we'll just go through some of the photos comparing with the real rolling bridge. Just got a few different angles. So we got... The perfect octagon there. See, it actually looks pretty similar, I think. Uh, <laughs> we got Pac-Man and his tongue coming out. <laughs> nice. And then we've got... This one's a bit janky compared. But, yeah, you see what I mean. Okay, guys, so just one more look through the rolling bridge and how it all works. I will speed up certain parts just to make it a bit more bearable but yeah we fold up just like that we get to this point and we're basically pac-man with his tongue sticking out <laughs> and then we're up the pirate boat comes past and you're not touching my rolling bridge son and then i'll slow you down to show the unrolling so we do the c shape and then the L, we're basically trying to spell something. <laughs> we do a bit of jiggery pokery over here. Get lucky. Lay down flat. And then speed up. And our man is across. And we have recreated the rolling bridge. A thank you, a thank you. That was a nightmare. <laughs>